Hi, I'm Sam. Hello, Sam. I'm Liz. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Are you a new student? Yes, I am. Today is my first day. Oh, great! Welcome to our school. Thank you. My first class is Spanish. Are you in that class? No, I'm not. My first class is French. I have Spanish at 3 p.m. I see. Is that your French teacher? No, that's Mr. Sanchez. He's your Spanish teacher. Oh, really? He looks like a very nice teacher. He is. The French teacher is very nice too. That's Ms. Martin. Oh, good. I want to take French next year. Well, have a great first day at school. Thanks, Sam. Bye. See you later. Thank you for calling First Bank. My name is Fran. How can I help you? Hello. I have a problem with my online account. I can help you with that. What is your full name? It's Jane Hansen. My last name is spelled H A N S E N. Thank you. I have your account here. What is your date of birth? It's September twenty third, nineteen ninety eight. Okay. And what is your address? It's twenty five thirteen Cedar Road. Great. Thank you very much. And what is the problem? My password for my online banking doesn't work. Okay. I can fix that for you. There, all done. This is your new password. It's capital J, eight, lowercase b, seven, two, one, three. You can change that online if you like. Thank you. You're welcome. I see your phone number is five 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 six nine seven. Four three nine eight. Is that correct? No, it isn't. My new number is five 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 six nine seven two one zero five. Okay, I have your new number now. Is there anything else? No, that's all. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. This is a nice photo, Alicia. Thank you, Mark. It's my family. Is that Stephen on the right? Yes, that's my husband, Stephen. You know each other. Yes, we do. And are those your children? Yes, that's my son, Daniel. He's seven, and my daughter, Julie, is next to him. She's five. And are those your parents in the middle? Yes, that's my dad George and my mom Vicky. And who's taking the photo? My brother Ryan. I have other photos of him too with my sister Diane. And where are you in the photo? Oh, we're at my parents' house. We're in their backyard. What a great day to take a photo! Yes. Sunny and warm is my favorite weather. Well, I need to get back to work. What a nice family you have! Thank you very much. See you later. This is a photo of my dad, Jorge. In the photo, he's at his job at the pharmacy where he works as a pharmacist. He's fifty-five years old. He's married to my mom Camila, and he has three children: me, my sister Daniela, and my brother Raúl.
He really loves his job, and he's very good at it. He knows a lot about science. It's an important skill. He knows many things about medicine too. His degree is from a medical school, and he uses his knowledge to help people every day. I want to be a pharmacist too, just like my dad. My other family members have interesting jobs too. My mom is an interpreter. She knows English and Spanish very well. My sister is a journalist. She works for a newspaper and she writes about travel. My brother is seventeen years old, so he's still a student in high school. He wants to be a pilot. He loves planes and he loves to travel. Hey, Susie. Do you like sports? I like some sports, Nate. I love tennis, but I hate soccer. Oh, really? I like soccer. I think it's exciting. Do you like basketball? I like watching it, but I don't like playing it. My brother thinks it's great. He plays basketball a lot, and he watches it on TV all the time. I see. I like basketball. But I love swimming. Yeah, swimming is a great sport. I enjoy it a lot, and it's my sister's favorite sport. She swims every day. Wow, she really loves it. Hey Juan, do you like listening to music in your free time? No, I don't. I prefer video games. What about you, Joe? I love listening to music. I think it's great. How about you, Becca? Do you like video games? No, I really like listening to audio books. I listen to them a lot. I don't like reading books. Yeah, I like listening to books too. Cindy, do you listen to audio books or do you read books? I don't like books or audio books. I love listening to podcasts. That's really fun. Podcasts? That's interesting. Do you like to ride bikes for fun or for sport? Then don't forget to come to this weekend's bike festival. We have many cycling events on both Saturday and Sunday. It's fun for the whole family. We also have bike races, awards for the best bikes, and food and drink. All ages are welcome to come. Tickets are on sale at the festival. It's ten dollars for adults and six dollars for children twelve and under. The festival starts at ten a.m. on both weekend days. The races take place in and around town for cyclists 14 years old and up. Visit our website for more details. Join us at Central Park for some cycling fun. We have a lot of English homework this week, Bill. I agree, Katie. Where do you do your English homework? I often do it in my bedroom. Why do you study in your bedroom? It's very quiet, and I have a nice desk. When do you do your homework? I do it after dinner, so I usually do it around eight p.m. Who do you study with? I sometimes study with my brother. He's very smart and helpful. What does your brother study? He studies math and science. Ah, that sounds interesting. Hey, Darren, how's work? Work is very busy, Mike. I sometimes finish at eight or nine o'clock at night. Really? That's a lot of hours. I know. I am often tired when I go home. I have a difficult project at work right now. 
It's interesting, but it's hard work. Is graphic design always this hard? It's usually not very difficult, but two or three times a year, I work a lot of hours. Do you work on weekends? Sometimes, but I make a lot of money when I'm busy, so it's okay. How about you? How's your job? It's great. I have a new job. I work as a photographer for a travel magazine. That sounds great. Do you work a lot of hours? Well, I usually work eight hours a day, but I sometimes work ten. I start work in the office at nine a.m. What do you do in the office? I look at photos and meet with colleagues. I often leave the office to do my work, which is good. I hate being in the office all day. Yes, I know the feeling. So things are really exciting at work, but my home life is boring. I go home around six p.m. I go online for a while, then I have dinner and watch TV. I go to bed at eleven p.m. I need to go out more. Well. You're out with me right now. Yes, you're right. Cassandra. I'm a very busy person. I run my own business and I work six days a week. I never do housework. I rarely have time to do the things I love, like cooking. My perfect day. Is to make a nice dinner for my family. It's Sunday, so that's what I'm doing today. Sebastian. I'm not home very often. I work five nights a week in the theater. I'm often very busy, so I don't get to fix things around my house. My perfect day is to spend time at home. And make it look nice. Charlotte. I like going to the gym, but I rarely go there. I have lots of time. I don't have a job, so I don't have a lot of work to keep me busy. I just study, watch TV, or go online and go out with friends. I want to make a change. So my perfect day is to go to the gym and exercise. I need it. Leonardo. I love dogs. I spend lots of time with them, and I get money for it too. I usually walk the dogs in my neighborhood, but we don't have a park nearby. So my perfect day is to take the dogs to the city park. And spend the afternoon there. Do you like life in the city, Diego? It's okay, Claudia. I like the coffee shops and restaurants near my house. It's easy to get around too, but I prefer life in the country. Oh, really? Yes, there are a lot of parks in the city, but I don't live near one. I miss trees and peace. And quiet. I like living in the city. There are a lot of things to do and places to hang out with friends. I don't have many friends. I'm new here, so I spend a lot of time alone. Do you want to join me and my friends tomorrow? We study in the library downtown every Thursday afternoon. The library's a long way from my house. But I really enjoy being there. Sure. When do you meet? I finish my classes at four p.m., so we meet at four thirty. We stay for about an hour or two, then we go home to have dinner. Where is the library? It's two blocks from the train station. Do you know where the train station is? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's meet at the train station at four twenty. Then we can walk to the library together. Thanks so much. Well, maybe life in the city isn't so bad after all. 
Excuse me. How do I get to the train station? There are two train stations the downtown station and the park station. Which station do you want? The station by the park. Okay. Go straight ahead on this street. This is Baker Street. Then turn right on Fifth Avenue. The train station is on the left. It's after the bank. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I think we're lost, Beth. Do you have the map? Yes, Henry. I think it's in my bag. Here it is. Let's see. We're on Bridge Street. We want to go to Marty's Restaurant. That's on Main Street. No, the restaurant is on Park Avenue. Let me look at the text from John. Yes, it's Park Avenue. Oh, no. That's a long way from here. Maybe there's a bus stop. Yes, I see one. Let's go there. I'm not sure which way to go now. Is it this way? I don't think so, Jack. I think it's this way, but I'm not sure. What do you usually do when you are lost, Raquel? I use the map on my phone. What about you? I don't usually have my phone with me. I ask a person on the street for help. Yes, that's a good idea. But people don't always know the way. A map on your phone is always helpful. And I don't see any people here now. Maybe you're right. Let's look at your phone. I use social media every day. I'm looking at my profile right now. I spend an hour online every day. I'm buying shoes at the moment. She is reading an employee's profile. That way, she can get information from it. I'm having coffee with Lisa. She works in my office. Gary is writing in his blog. He posts something every day. No, I'm not checking my social media. I don't do that at work. Sandra. I work in an electronics store, and people ask me for advice on smartphones. They want to know which one has a good camera. I show them some of the phones in our store, and then they see the price. Some people think the price is very high. I don't know about that, but it's important to have a good phone. Oliver. For great music, you need a great pair of headphones. But good headphones cost a lot of money. Some people don't want to pay $200 for headphones. I understand that. There are cheap headphones, but music doesn't sound good on them. Magdalena. With a laptop, you usually have to sit down. I hate that. So, I use a tablet. It's easy to carry in your bag. It does the same things a laptop does. It also takes great photos, and it looks cool, too. I really enjoy buying things online. It's where I go when I want a good deal on products. But how do you know if the product is good? Well, I think I can help. There are some things you can do to help with online shopping. First, look for a photo of the product. You can learn a lot from a photo. Do you like the way it looks? Is it a nice color? Does it look like it is right for you? Great!
Then you need to read product reviews. This is very important. People usually give their honest opinions online. They don't lie about how they feel. People often write online reviews when something doesn't work right. They want other people to know. They're mad and want to say something about it. So read these things carefully. Finally, look at the price of the product. Is it a good price? Maybe it is, but you can look at other online stores and check if there are better prices. So, before you buy that product, check these three things the photo, the reviews, and the price. Happy shopping! Julia, can you surf? Yes, Ian, I can. I love surfing. Can you? No, I can't. The problem is, I can't swim. Really? Well, I'm sure you can run. My father can't go running with me this weekend because he's busy at work. Can you come with me? Yes, I can, Julia. And I love running. Great! Well, can you meet me at the beach on Sunday morning? That's where we usually go running. Yes, I can. I'll see you there. Hey, Santi! What's all this? Is it all yours? You play so many different sports. Yes, Chris. Well, I play sports a lot when I'm not working all weekend. When do you have time to do all of this? I mean, I know we play tennis together on Mondays, but what about the other sports? There are some sports I don't know here. Well, the black and white ball is for soccer. I play soccer on Wednesday evenings after work. And what about the orange ball? That ball is for basketball. I can't play basketball very often because the club opens on Thursdays, but I usually work then. So is the red and white ball for baseball? Yes, it is. That is my favorite sport, and I play every Sunday morning with my team. Our team's name is the Baseball Kings. We're very good. And do you play American football too? When do you have time for that? Usually on Friday afternoons. Sometimes I don't go to work just so I can play football, and then I go home. Don't tell anyone. So, why do you play sports so much? Well, I have a lot of work to do, which sometimes makes me feel bad, and it also makes me tired. Playing sports makes me feel relaxed. Do you want to try a new sport with me? Really? Well, okay. I like team sports like football and soccer, but lacrosse is one I really want to try. And it makes you very fit. Great. Let's do that. I am very busy with work, too, but we can do it on a Sunday afternoon after lunch if you want. Okay, let's do it. Where do we meet? Let's meet at the sports center at 3 p.m., okay? Four is better for me. What do you think? Yes, that's perfect. See you then. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fitness Fun. Before we do the class, we need to warm up. Stand still and just breathe in slowly. That's right. In, out. In, out. Perfect. Now twist your body so that you can touch your left foot with your right hand. That's great. And now your right foot with your left hand. Great! Now do that ten times on each side. Now 
Turn to the left and lift your arms up over your head with the two kilogram weights. Push your hands up as far as you can for about 15 seconds. That's it. And now, relax. Good job, everyone. I think we're ready to start our class.